I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. In this video, I want to introduce you to my new portable campfire stove that I call Woody. Let me begin by giving you a little background information. I have been an avid tent camper for over 50 years. During these 50 years, I have camped in over 200 different campgrounds and have discovered that the cooking facilities in these campgrounds vary considerably. A few have nice pedestal grills where you can cook almost anything you want. And a few more have very nice campfire rings with adjustable height cooking grates. But many campgrounds have very poor quality cooking facilities. For example, state parks in Alabama frequently have just a ring of rocks as their campfire ring. State parks in Wisconsin typically have a small piece of stretched metal welded to a metal fire ring. And this stretched metal is hardly ever level. And the state of Michigan has these large concrete and metal clad fire rings with no cooking grates. When we wanted to cook a meal over the campfire, we had to find two extra large pieces of firewood to put our cooking grate on or some stones. After spending about two weeks in Michigan during the summer of 2014, I began to think about how I could make a portable campfire stove. I wanted a stove that was large enough to hold cast iron frying pans and large stew pots, but yet was small enough to pack in a car. After considering several possibilities, I made this wooden model of a stove with an 8 inch high back and two folding sides. Then in the fall of 2014, I gave this wooden model to a friend and asked this friend if he could make one out of steel. This is the prototype that he made. Over the next three years, Ava and I used this prototype to cook several meals on some of our camping trips. We noticed several things that we liked and a few things that we didn't like. And using this information, I went to a metal fabricator in July of 2017 and asked them to make the first woody stove. Let me summarize some of its features. Its back and sides are made from 11 gauge carbon steel that is strong enough to hold up cast iron Dutch ovens or cast iron frying pans or large stock pots filled with liquid. Its cooking surface measures 13 inches by 13 inches, so it is large enough to hold a large 12 inch frying pan, a large 10 quart stock pot, or three small stew pots. Its sides are attached to the back with very strong piano hinges so that the sides can fold flat during travel. It has a strong cooking grate that locks into place and it can be combined with a large commercial baking sheet to make a good reflective bottom surface. Now let's talk about how to use the woody stove to cook a meal. First of all, you'll want to make a fire starter kit at home before you depart on your camping trip. Find small branches that have fallen off of trees. These are maple branches that have fallen off of trees in my yard. Then break them into short pieces and pack them into a small soft-sided cooler. You can also include wood shavings from your garage workshop. Also pack sheets of used printer paper in your fire bag to serve as tinder and a few Bic lighters. When you get to your destination, you'll have to find some firewood. 
Sometimes you can find a piece of wood just laying on the ground, such as this maple limb. You can use your camp axe to trim off the suckers and a folding saw to cut the limb into the correct lengths. Then split the branches down to the approximate size of your thumb so that they'll make a good fuel for a cooking fire. But in many campgrounds, you'll have to buy your firewood. But be careful. Many firewood vendors sell unseasoned, poor quality wood as firewood. You may have to search around the community near the campground to find a good firewood dealer. To split a large piece of firewood, you may have to just make an initial split and then use a wedge and a baton to complete the split. Sometimes you can use a side splitting technique, but this doesn't always work. After the initial split, continue to split the firewood into smaller and smaller sizes until eventually each piece is about the size of your thumb. This makes a good size for a cooking fire. Once you've made your fire starter bag and split your firewood, Starting the fire is very easy. Just put two or three pieces of crumpled printer paper into the woody stove and light one. Then place a few twigs from your fire starter bag on top. When you see the twigs are burning well, put a few pieces of split firewood on top and let them catch. Then let them burn down and once you've got a good bed of coals, you're ready to start cooking. The secret to cooking a good tasting meal over the campfire is to maintain a given level of heat for a prolonged period of time. To maintain the heat level with the woody stove, all you need to do is just place a few pieces of split firewood on the fire at a time. As one piece of firewood burns down, replace it with another piece. The easiest meals to cook over a campfire are one pan or one pot meals, such as mountain man breakfast, vegetable beef soup, chicken stew, and chili. You can also grill a variety of meats, including steak, hamburgers, pork chop, and chicken right on the grill and cook a variety of tinfoil packet meals either on the grill or in the coals. Recipes for these and many more campfire meals can be found on the internet. If you'd like to own a woody campfire stove, you can order one directly from me. My contact information can be found at the bottom of any page on my website. Currently, the price is $125 plus shipping, and that price includes the stove and the cooking grate, but not the aluminum base pan shown in the photo. If you want a base pan, you'll have to buy it from another vendor, but I can tell you where I bought mine if you ask. For more information about tent camping equipment, procedures, and destinations, please read my book, Basic Tent Camping. Visit my website, www.basictentcamping.com, and visit my Facebook page, Modern Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.